Hey guys, thanks for joining again. Welcome to my first segment called Beyond the Transmitter. I'm thinking about maybe doing this on a regular basis where I talk to you from Beyond the Transmitter. We're gonna be talking about this little beauty, what it does, all the ins and outs about it. Stay tuned, because we're gonna put it on this guy, and then we're gonna discuss uh, how easy or difficult it is to use, what all the options are all about, Maybe you'll learn something, pick something up, or maybe you'll just enjoy the footage. Either or, it's going to be a good time. Okay, so let's get up close and personal with this thing. This is how it came when I bought it. Oh, that's the receipt. So you get your micro USB charge cable. You get your instructions. I have to say it's probably the easiest thing I've ever bought that's technology based because really you don't even need to connect with Bluetooth with your phone you just download the app and as long as Bluetooth is turned on on your phone it will automatically connect through the app which is <laughs> I wish more companies did things that simple so here it is hi baby you're gonna open the oh you want to tell everybody how to use this? Okay. So when you get it, you'll have to download the app. They give you this little QR code, or you can just type it in GNSPA. So, well, what are we doing, baby? Let's go into the app store, okay? And we'll type in what it says. G-N-S-S space, wait, oh, wait, 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 P-A. There we go. Now there it is, GNSPA. So I will download that. It says it's already done. Open it. And there's my device right away. I just open the app, click on the device. It's connected. The device turns on. <laughs> Picked up satellites. Even though I'm still inside, it's somehow still picking up satellites. And it's looking for satellites now. But that's okay. I need a GPS. I need at least a satellite to actually tap on any of the actual modes so it says GPS signal is too poor to initiate the test okay so when you're outside obviously you don't get that answer but this is just to show you how simple it is to connect to your cell phone there are actually two identical units from the same manufacturer but they just sell it to two different companies that distribute them I have the Sky RC the other one is the Power Hobby. Both have the same number, GSM020. They have two different apps. So these are the two apps. So if you got the Power Hobby one, then it would tell you to download this app. And if you got the Sky RC one, then it'll tell you to download the one on the right. I have the Sky RC one. They both will connect to both units. And when you open them up, they are pretty much identical with exception to the opening screen. One will say Power Hobby, one will say Sky RC. So when you open the app up, you're gonna see all the different modes that are available for this. Oh man, this glare is trouble. So there's gonna be your drag mode, your track mode, and your flight mode. Can you tell me how many satellites? Right now it's six. This has a range of about 30 meters. So once you go past that, it stops transmitting to your phone, but it will still record all the data it needs to record until you hit stop. And which means that of course the vehicle needs to be closer so that you can hit stop. All right, we're gonna take this to the park and see what she does. I got the crate in here at the park. I've got the um, throttle set to only 50% right now. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going up here to track and then I'm going to hit start. Now you have to do that while the vehicle is not in motion, it's got to be standing still. So now you can see our real time zero miles per hour uh, traveled zero feet. So let's give her a rip and uh, see what we get. Hey 
This is pretty good for 50%. <laughs> All right, let's get a speed run, off-road speed run. Here we go. Full pull. Nice. All right. Let's bring her back and see what kind of speed we got. Now take in mind, this is 50%. Okay, open up. Okay, so we hit stop and read. 43 miles an hour, 50%, boys and girls. Whew, a minute and 30 seconds. All right, I'm gonna kick it up a notch to 75%. See what we get. So here we go, we're gonna go back to track and start. Here we go. Wow, I'm a, <laughs> I can't pull it all the way. <laughs> Some speed. Full pull. Oh! <laughs> I hope I got that on film. Just the truck, you're looking at about 900. The batteries are about 100. And then the charger is probably another 60 bucks. Uh, yeah. And then, of course, once you break it, you got to fix it. Which it looks like I have done. <laughs> Shocks, maybe. I hope I got that on film. I have the part to fix it, but I think that's it for today. Let's head into the bench and we'll look closer at this new GPS unit I got. I've already fixed the Creighton. It was just this little piece that holds the shock to the A-arm snapped. And that's it. So I think I got lucky in that collision. I think I hit it dead square with the center of the bumper. So didn't do too much damage, luckily. I'm a tough baby. I want to thank you for joining me for the first session of Beyond the Transmitter. I highly recommend anybody who wants to prove their runs to get one of these, whether you get the power hobby or the sky rc um, it not only measures your speed which is all i was really able to uh, demonstrate in this video but it also counts your distance traveled how long you've been running for in flight mode it also calculates how your height and time and all the same kind of stuff including speed it also gives you average speed not just top speed yeah there isn't uh too many things that i would say are um 100% awesome products and this is definitely one of them this is a really awesome product this is not a paid promotion um, I'm not making shit off this I'm just giving you a straight up honest opinion I am honestly happy with my purchase so I hope you enjoyed uh, this new beyond the transmitter segment uh, let me know in the comments if you think it's a great idea Keep on our seeing, keep on keeping on. Ciao for now.